Welcome to round two of It's Way Too Late at Night and Josh is recording a video. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add an Instagram feed to your blogger site as well as your Tumblr site. I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, but Josh, you left out WordPress.com. You always do WordPress.com. I was going to until I realized it doesn't work. The only way to get a Instagram feed on WordPress.com is to follow the WordPress.org instructions. However, when you apply those instructions to WordPress.com, you then have to pay some on WordPress.com in order to use plugins that would otherwise be available for free through WordPress.org, or at least are usually free. There's very few that you have to pay for in WordPress.org. So today, I'm just gonna show you how to add a Instagram feed via a site called Snap Widget onto your blogger and Tumblr site. So what you'll need to do, you can sign up and create a account but I already have way too many accounts on way too many things. So if I can avoid doing that, I'm going to. And luckily, I can. So if I scroll down, we see all of these. You can get a Instagram grid widget type thing. Same for Facebook and then, but we want this one. Is this uh, snap widget basically is a way to display photos. So we're gonna go ahead and click create your free widget. Next, you will come down and click the username. Once you click that, you'll get a pop-up window. You will log in, you'll let it authorize, and now we have our wonderful photos. From here, you can further customize it. I'm going to give the layout a two by three, kind of like that. You can change the thumbnail size. You can choose if the photos have a border or not. And to refresh it, you just kind of click anywhere. There's a little border. You can then change the background color to uh, whatever hex code you want, but I'm just gonna leave it white because it looks nice that way. And because I'm too lazy to change it to an actual color that would actually look nice with all my photos that don't have a theme. Anyway, you can change the photo padding. I'm gonna leave it as is, again, because I really don't wanna mess with it too much. And I just wanna be able to display photos that people can then click on and change the hover effect. I liked the likes and comments when I was looking at this a little bit earlier. Just click outside and refresh. And you can see all of this, have it show the sharing buttons and you can tell it to be responsive. And I feel like that's gonna be really helpful because it will fill, because my understanding is that it will fill up the width of wherever it's at. And in my case, it's gonna be in a sidebar in both cases actually. So I can click yes, hit refresh, and you don't really notice responsive versus not responsive um, in the preview. But you'll click get widget, click copy to clipboard. Gonna come over to blogger. You'll need to come over to the layout tab. And I'm going to add the gadget to my sidebar. Going to scroll down to HTML slash JavaScript and click add. Gonna give it the title Instagram, but you'll then copy the code and click save. Then save the arrangement. Then I'm just going to refresh the page. And there's your Instagram feed that is embedded and looks all nice and such. And you can change the width of the sidebar and then you'd be able to see all of the numbers in their entirety and more of the sharing options because you can see there's Pinterest here. Then I come over to my site, there we go. And there is no Pinterest option because it's hiding and there's not enough room. You could change the width, but I'm not going to because like I said before, I'm too lazy. Okay, cool, now that we've established that. <laughs> we're now going to move on to Tumblr. You can do this one of two ways. In some Tumblr themes, there is a built-in Instagram feed. Like on my Tumblr, I have a built-in Instagram feed. This is not from Snap Widget. I'm going to actually use my test Tumblr, which isn't this one, so that way I don't accidentally screw up the one I like. I can then screw up the one that's meant for screwing up. So you come into your Tumblr settings, you'll click Edit Appearance, you'll edit the theme, you'll come to your edit HTML. So I'm going to find the sidebar and the fastest way for me to do this is to locate the add this tab because that's already there, most likely from a previous video. I could have probably just searched sidebar, it would have been fine. Oh well, then I'm going to put this above my add this follow section just to uh, differentiate between the snap widget and the built-in one. Paste it here, click update preview and ta-da. Here is our Instagram widget. And I'm gonna pause right there. I realized I forgot to mention how to add a title to your Instagram feed section. So as you can see right below where I copied the snap widget code, there is a h2 follow me on slash h2 section. You can literally just copy that type of format and put it right above your snap widget code 
but replace follow me on with Instagram or Instagram feed or whatever you want to call it. Just leave everything else the same and you should be good. That is all. Back to the video. But if you wanted to avoid the smallness, you could change the thumbnail size of your photos or you could change it to be one by three i guess but that's not as exciting and if you want to do advanced settings you have to like create an account and upgrade to whatever price but we're trying to avoid paying for things thank you very much and that is how you put an instagram feed into your tumblr so anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can click it right over here to subscribe to my respective channels, and you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye